If someone ever asks you to do something for them, do it really bad so you never have to do it again. Oh, is that why you're no longer on TV? Hello again, welcome back to MK. My name is Jack, the snack that always smiles back. Today we're gonna enjoy some murdering, which is very distasteful to say in this current time and age, but it's all about words specifically, so it's okay. Anyway, enjoy. I often ask myself, what if I move to the States? But then I remember tipping and stay where I am. My Brazilian 10% optional tip and only at restaurants habits could never adapt to that crazy tip everyone just in case system. Deciding not to move somewhere just because of tipping? Lamau. Ooh, you've set yourself up there. Actually, the lack of public health system and workers' rights are the main deciding factors. I was just being nice by not beating a dead dog. Oof, I'd say that's rough, but the dog's dead, so it wouldn't say that. Doesn't anyone know if Ryanair have USB ports on board the plane? Oh yeah, they're just under the seat massage button. I love Ryanair. It's a bus with wings. Remember that and you won't go far wrong. Well, I mean, my local city bus has USB ports in the seat backs, so... We'll let them drive you to Greece for a tenner. You'll need a USB port for that journey. If Socrates was out philosopher Philosodomizing in American society today, he would be cancelled real quick. Socrates was executed. A lot of people are going to make fun of you for this tweet, but I won't. I'll explain it very slowly for you, because God's most simple people should be treated with respect. Socrates was executed, which is sort of like being cancelled. Now for some lighthearted fun. What's the one conspiracy theory that no matter what anyone says you believe is true? Mine is that the moon landing in 1969 was completely faked. Just nothing about it makes sense, especially naysays accidentally erasing the original footage. The biggest thing for me is the fuel tank size, plus the live broadcast with audio from the moon in 1969. I just cannot. <laughs> How does this account have a verification check? Twitter just giving them to anyone now? Maybe she just says things that are so stupid nobody would ever want to pretend to be her, making verification very easy. Today I fricked up getting an 18-year-old pregnant. Aw, congrats on your two new children! Made in China. Just what I want to put on my face, a mask from the country that gave us this virus. Oh, you're already putting your mouth up against your Chinese phone, pulling your Chinese jumper over your face, and wearing Chinese underwear while eating meat products from China, drinking tea, watching your child suck a Chinese toy every day. Oh, no, but okay, not wearing a mask. Ooh, oh, good to know where the line in the sand is drawn. <laughs> oh, stop, you're violating them. Ford says chip shortage will force it to halt or cut production at eight plants. The government has to be behind this chip shortage. Can't purchase gas-powered vehicles if there aren't any to purchase. Oh, what a big brain, because electrical vehicles definitely don't have any computer chips anywhere in them. How do you cater for a wedding with 600 guests? Find out the answer in this BBC article. Oh, that reminds me of another question. How do you colonize India and then not know the answer to this question? Replying to Mr. Beast. Make better content. I've already unsubbed and I'm no longer watching, sadly. Oh, hey, this you? I have no job. I have no money. I have no hobbies. My family despises my existence. All I have is Twitter. When I needed someone or something, Twitter is there for me. Twitter is my life, my passion, and my faith. I love Twitter. Sad cringe! Her five bachelors, four masters, and three PDs ain't gonna cook your birani. Of course they won't, because I'll be making it for her. Yeah, let's come on. How good would it be? I will trade being the cook and the cleaner if I get to stay at home and play video games. Give me that made outfit and everything, I'll commit. Each large muscle of a bodybuilder represents a language he didn't learn, a poem he didn't read, a fun fact he never memorized. Thucky Diddy said, That is how you pronounce it, don't contest me on this. That the society that separates its scholars from its warriors will have its thinking done by cowards and its fighting done by fools. However, you appear to be both a fool and a coward. Congratulations, you're unique in the worst way. Illegal life pro tips request. Where do I find sugar daddies? No, smex or meetups. So basically you're just looking for an old man to give you things while he gets nothing out of it? That's called it daddy. Just a regular daddy. Something tells me you guys aren't on the best of terms. Absolutely zero beautiful women see your anime t-shirt or your cowboy boots or dirty sneakers and think, Wow, that's so sexy. Look at yourself. You're a nerd. You've got no girls, no money, and you've got no swagger. Now look at this white boy still using that word. And you surely have no idea how to dress yourself. Cool, cool. Have you ever met a woman that didn't immediately cover her drink when you walked into the room? Maybe reflect on that. Please know, if you're someone who brings a book to the bar, nobody likes you. 
How much of your life, expressed as a percentage, have you spent gesturing for women to take out their earbuds? Oh, double misogyny whammy! Being an independent contractor sucks for a lot of reasons, but it also affords you the unique ability to tell people to frick off in delightful ways. Hi, Caleb. I was just informed you weren't on the morning stand-up call this morning. How come? Yeah, dude, I was asleep. I basically never joined those. Well, going forward, morning meetings are a requirement for employment at this place. I expect you to be on the next call tomorrow at 9 a.m. Ah, oh, man, that sucks for you guys, but uh, I'm not an employee. My contract says nothing about required hours or daily meetings. You really need an attitude adjustment. If you aren't on the next call, you're not getting a cracker. And you're fired. Your choice. You can fire me if you want, but you guys have to pay me through the 18th of next month regardless, so I'm definitely sleeping in tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your meeting. You guys really ought to read the contracts you have assigned sometime. It's pretty wild stuff in there. Please call me. <laughs> No. My wife, who it is rumored is a doctor, stayed up all night with my five-year-old because my girl has a brutal cough due to flu. Tonight, it is my turn. My wife then got up and went to work to care for her patients. That's feminism, not murdering babies outside the womb. You're a podcaster. You probably should have done both nights. Yeah, pro tip to being a parent. Your children aren't dolls. You can't just throw it away to someone else when you're done playing with it. I knew Miss Elastic Girl was too gorgeous to be straight. Here she's waving at a woman in the new trailer. 2018 is a gays only event. Why are y'all like this? She's happily married with a loving and supporting husband and has three freaking kids! Ladies, is it gay to smile at another woman? That's not even a woman. That's a little girl. Is this really the hill y'all wanna die on? The NFL is now the league of sexual anarchy. This halftime show should not be allowed on television. Wow, Charlie saw some black people having a good time on his TV and can't stand it. Why would he want a bunch of drug addicts and thieves living next to him? Why would you assume poor people are drug addicts and Thieves. Don't you train with a guy that can't even pee clean to support his livelihood? Because I grew up poor and seen it firsthand. Being poor in America is a choice. Right, so why did your parents choose to be poor? Did they, ch uh, to teach me a lesson? They secretly had money. This is horrible. There's no such thing as queer kids. It's just dysfunctional adults grooming children. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Disgusting. Haha, <laughs> I suck being terrified of teenage girls dancing together and holding hands. The British left 80 years ago. If you have problems, they are now your own. Indian politicians are looking for someone to blame their failures in case someone holds them to account. So who gets held accountable for the crippling conditions the British left the Indians in? Same question for the Native American condition in the US. You're trying to erase the part in history in which imperialism really fricks these people over. <laughs> Let's be honest, Ryanair. Your planes very rarely take off. You just take people's money. We only had 2,148 flights take off yesterday, to be fair, Jason. It's never too early to start a business. At seven, this boy runs a company and saves for college. It's so inspiring that a child has to sift through garbage because of the six-figure debt he needs to take on to get a job in 15 years. The American dream. American fear the electric water kettle. This strikes fear into the heart of Americans. Plastic parts having any contact with boiling water. Yeah, missed me with that, Schmidt. We Americans have this amazing multi-purpose tool called a pot. Oh, that's really great. Glad to see you have at least one universal thing. Oh, shots fired. Comedians did not sign up to be your hero. It's our job to be irreverent and dangerous, to question authority, and take you through a spooky, mental haunted house so you can arrive at your own conclusions. Stay focused on the people we pay taxes to to be moral leaders. Um, maybe add to be funny to the list? That's literally the requirement of your profession. 2,000 miles isn't that much, honestly. I could drive that much in a day. If you drove a steady 75 miles per hour without ever slowing down or stopping, it would take you over 26 hours to drive 2,000 miles. More than a day. Well, assuming you're correct then, let's suppose that I didn't sleep to have more time in a day, then I could probably make it. And what are your sources for your data? Sources for my data? Basic maths! It's called math! You should try it sometime! People were making a living and becoming famous, writing books and songs and inventing things long before the internet existed. Try again. Name any of them. Oh my god. Uh, it's one of those things where your brain explodes with so much information as to easily dismiss the stupid argument, but then as a result, you just, you know, you shut down because there's just too much information coming in at once. Homer, Virgil, Dante, Shakespeare, Mozart, Bach, Beethoven. That is like one million of all the people. People have a right to own private property, physical or digital, and they have a right to defend their access to their private property via brute force power. 
Bitcoin should be protected under the Second Amendment. I'm going to regret asking this, but do you think the Second Amendment includes a list of commodities you can shoot people over? Once it's protected by the Second Amendment, you get to put an NFT sticker on it saying, we don't call 911, with a revolver pointed at you. It's pretty badass. It says that in the Constitution. Where, 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 NFL bad now? I'm sexually frustrated, so I view everything in a sexual way. Hey, buddy, what's this? Oh, look, it's you. It's your own quote. What, what's that you're saying there? Just because you are offended doesn't mean you are right. Wow. Chipotle, 26% profit increase, raising prices. Starbucks, 31% profit increase, raising prices. McDonald's, 59% raise prices. Shell Mobile, Papa, 60% increase, also raising prices. There's not a labor shortage. This isn't inflation. It is 100% corporate greed. The solution is this. Don't eat at Chipotle. Make a burrito at home. Don't eat at McDonald's. Take a sandwich to work. Make your own coffee and skip Starbucks. Yes, kids, you can make coffee at home. Ask me how. Drive an electric vehicle. Vote with your wallet. That's power. This does not solve corporate greed. It, it does not stop wage theft. It does not stop capitalism. It does, however, make you feel superior to poor people. Wow, yeah, yes, come on, guys. Let's go buy an electric vehicle that you get them at Kmart and Walmart all the time. Yeah. Cook a bunch of your own meals every day. You're fine. We all have the same 24 hours in a day after all. <laughs> so ignorant. The unpaid internships, the scraping up money to pay bills, the sleeping on couches, that's part of the journey to separate those who will make it and those who won't. Hi, poverty is not a test of character, my dude. It's just poverty. You know what you get for surviving a day of poverty? Another one. And for that one, another one. Nobody's watching you from money heaven, tallying up all the hard work you did to make sure you'll be rewarded someday. Yes, welcome to the entertainment industry. Hard work is BS. It's who you know and how lucky you are. Hey, lefties. AR does not stand for assault rifle. It stands for Armalite rifle. You want to take out guns, but you don't know jack about guns. See the problem? Damn near 100% of the men trying to regulate my uterus can't find my crap, Tammy. Yeah, but that's a different issue. So you still agree on it, though? No, because... No. Is the fall of Rome comparable to the current situation in the United States? <laughs> no. Rome had good roads. Satan conferences should not be protected by the First Amendment. Satan worship is not what the founders had in mind when they referenced the fruits of liberty. Go ahead and read the first sentence in the First Amendment. Take as long as you need. <clears throat> Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of a religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peacefully to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. Basically, they want the First Amendment, but they don't want it for certain people. Oh, Charlie, you little word that rhymes with your name. Petition to put cis white dudes on a barge and float them out to sea. Yeah, we did that in 1944 and saved the world. I mean, if you want to give us that praise and honor and respect again, like, I understand, but there's no need. Guys, I got engaged Friday! For context, this is a gay OnlyFans creator. Surprised he said yes. Must not have seen the Anon BBC videos. What a toxic and terrible thing to say. Uh, you should realize, one, not everyone fits in your heteronormative monogamous relationship style. Some uh, people are in open relationships and open marriages. Oh, don't let your head explode just yet. Only fans and sex work is a real valid job. Just because you aren't comfortable with OP being in this work doesn't mean his soon-to-be husband isn't comfortable with it. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm bothering with this response. Like, looking at your comment history and seeing the fact you troll people's nudes with comments like get a haircut and get a hot washcloth and scrub before taking pics, you're probably just an a-hole in general. From first dates to engagements, from accidental meet cutes to lifelong friends, Friendships. Share a photo in the comments and tell us how Starbucks has played a role in your love story. Oh well, here's me waiting in the unemployment line after Starbucks fired me for trying to organize a union. Oh, such sweet memories. So apparently job candidates sending a thank you note isn't a thing anymore. Candidates, pro tip, send a thank you note. Yes, also keep your head lower than the interviewer. Oh, is something on the floor? Thank you. Memorize your surroundings. Never turn your back on the interviewer when leaving the room. Thank you. Okay, well, wow, 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 that's a impressive moonwalking, sir. Thank you. Address the interviewer as your job ship. Uh, yes, your job ship. I've done five years experience. Oh, that's and great. Bring a stout pig as a gift to the interviewer. Get me out of here. It's covered in mud. Praise the interviewer and debase yourself. Who said to bring this in? Your anger is so valid, your job ship. I'm stupid and you're smart, your job ship. Stop calling me. Who Be told you to call me that? Thank you. Wear a tie. Yes, I'll be honest. I was very close to hiring you, but then I noticed you... 
didn't have a tie. That was just, no, oh, that's disgusting. I understand basic economics such as supply and demand. Very hard topic for leftists. Leftists understand this. If anyone doesn't understand basic economics, it's the right. They don't seem to understand the concept of surplus value or that deregulating the entire market sphere leads to economic distress, or perhaps that the economic model is built around coercion, monopolization, commodification, yeah, the list goes on. You only say we don't understand economics because the only knowledge you actually have of our beliefs is a Praga U compilation about toothbrushes. There is no legitimate reason to ban transgender troops, period. Except when you're in a life or death situation and you aren't comfortable trusting the person next to you. But that doesn't matter, right? Brian, the enemy has surrounded us and we have nowhere to run. I don't think we are going to get out of this. I have a plan that might save us, but I don't know if I can trust you. Hurry, show me your <laughs> It's the only way, Brian! The only way! Huh. What is stronger, my urge to make a joke or my desire not to be cancelled? You have two followers, Crusades Fetishizer. Pronouns Deuce Vault. I don't think you're going to be cancelled. I think your feigning fear of being cancelled is performative. Well, no, because Ronaldo's the greatest player in history and can do everything better than Beckham. But it would be like taking away your goal hanging in tappins. You'd be lucky to make Leicester's all time. Absolutely agree. Without the tappins and goal hanging, I wouldn't have scored hundreds of goals and won golden boots. I'd be like you, completely and utterly useless. I am incredibly honored and, suffice to say, deeply humbled to have been asked to serve on the Naval Academy Board of Visitors. I am grateful beyond measure for the opportunity and look forward to working to continue the proud tradition of developing midshipmen. Hey, son of McCain, what's your qualification other than who your dad was? Aw, oh, gee, nothing much. I graduated from the Naval Academy, served in the Navy, continued doing so, spent three years as an instructor at the Academy, teaching all four year groups, hold a graduate degree from Georgetown, was an Afghan hand, and I'm a reserve naval aviator. I'm also a fourth generation USNA. Just city college stuff, you know? Your Netflix binge watching makes climate change worse, say experts. The emissions generated by watching 30 minutes of Netflix is the same as driving almost four miles. Cool to guilt trip ordinary people for every tiny thing that might spark joy while oil executives dip their hands in big barrels of dinosaur juice to lube up every time they have a wank. Dear ladies, there is no reason whatsoever for you to post pictures of yourself in low-cut shirts, bikinis, bra, and underwear. Or anything similar, ever. Not to show your weight loss journey. Not to show your newborn baby. Not to document your birth story. Signed, your brothers. And I'm definitely not one of them, who is clearly uncomfortable with coming to the terms, who wants to sleep with my sisters when I see them in outfits that show femininity. Dear Brian, just because you can't scroll Twitter without a vat of whale oil under your desk doesn't mean the rest of us lack your self-control. Seek help. Signed, a guy who's seen them before. Thank you all the black developers, creators, and players who add so much to gaming all year long. Posting on Facebook, what do you expect? Oh yay, but it cost the racism responses. Please be patient as we work to ignore all your racist comments. So next month will be for whites, right? Yes, we'll talk about their role in slavery, colonization, torture, the burning of cities, Jim Crow segregation, and police brutality. Oh yeah, I'm definitely switching to PlayStation. Hi, great. Can't wait for you to see our posts about black history. Can't escape your history, Seth. Well, my snazzy, snazzy friends, it's time for some fan art, and today's lovely work is by Spectrum699. Now, it's not Halloween, but we should still hear them out because it is a Halloween-based fan art. Though, is Halloween really meant to be about death specifically? Or is it more so just the fear and celebration of horror and scare? So I think we can give you a pass. Hello, my ghoulish, drippy MK friend. Thanks for that amazing artwork, Spectrum699. And as always, if you'd like to see your amazing work like Spectrum's here in the next video, be sure to post your work in the MK subreddit. But that is the end of today's fun. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Make sure you like this video to support the channel, yada, yada, yada. If you got the time, why not check out some more videos on the channel? Anyway, though, that is the end of me. My name's been Jack. Feel free to say hello to me via the link in the description below. I love your face, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.